morning students yesterday we studied the brief history of the clothing and also the sources of fibers so today we will start with the plant fiber first is a cotton cotton is most widely used natural fiber cotton is also known as cotton wool cotton fiber come from the cotton plant which are grown in the field by farmers cotton crop is usually grown at the places having black soil and warm climate in india cotton is mainly grown in state of maharashtra and parts of andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and gujarat the fruits of cotton plants are of size of lemon after maturing the cotton balls burst open to produce a cotton seeds covered with a soft white cotton fibers a field of cotton plant which is ready for picking cotton look like a field covered with a snow because all the plant have white cotton fiber at their top cotton is picked up from the plant in a field usually by hand is called picking the cotton fiber pick from field have cotton seeds in them the cotton fibers are separated from these seeds the process of separating cotton fibers from seeds is called ginning ginning was traditionally done by using comb like device these day ginning is also done by using machines cotton is mainly used for making fabrics these fabrics are then used for making clothes then we will study the properties of cotton the cotton is a soft fabric it is breathable fabric means it allow air to pass through it next it absorb the moisture and sweat absorbed by the cotton fabrics evaporate does it cool the body it get wrinkled easily and need a lot of maintenance it is biodegradable means it is decomposed easily so the cotton fabrics is commonly used in making the clothes bed sheets curtains towels and quilts then our next plant fiber is jute jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant jute is called patsan in hindi in india jute is mainly grown in a west bengal bihar and assam in india jute is mainly grown in west bengal bihar and assam jute is popularly known as golden fiber jute is cultivated in rainy season jute fiber is obtained from the jute plant the jute plant are harvested from the field when they are at the flowering stage the stem of harvested jute plant are immerse in water for few days during this time the stem root and fiber are left behind the jute fibers are separated from water by hand jute is a rough fiber so it is not used for making the fabrics means clothes for making the dresses jute is a strong plant fiber jute fiber is used for making the ropes and jute bags the jute bags or gunny bags are used as a shopping bags as well as for sorting the food grain such as a wheat rice etc so we will study some properties of jute fiber are first jute is a natural fiber with a golden silky shine and hence the popularly known as golden fiber second it is biodegradable means it is decomposed easily and recyclable thus environment friendly the jute fiber is a coarse fiber jute fiber are not so strong as compared to other fibers some other plant fibers are flax and coir flax is also a plant fiber that give a natural fiber the fiber obtained from the flax plant are called flax fibers the fiber are obtained from the stem of flax plant 
the cloth made up of the steam fiber of flax is called linen so then our next point is the animal fibers the fibers that are obtained from animals are called animal fibers the fibers that are obtained from animals are called animal fibers silk wool and silk are common example of animal fibers so let us start with wool wool is most commonly used animal fiber wool is a soft wavy hair which cover the body of a sheep actually wool is modified form of the hair that grow with the waviness because of the waviness of wool the wool fabrics have a greater bulk hence the trap more air the woolen fabric keep us more warm during cold winter days wool come from sheep wool also come from other animals like sheep goat yak camel ilma and alpaca the in other words wool yielding animals are sheep goat yak camel ilma and alpaca wool yielding animals bear a thick coat of hair on their body it is this hair which give the wool the shearing is the process of removing the hair from sheep it is done with the special instrument called clipper after shearing of the balls of wool are picked and sent to the mill where they are clean and combed by the machine this clean wool is then spun to form a fiber the fibers are woven and knitted to make a woolen clothes let us see some properties of wool wool is a flexible fiber second wool absorb the moisture and water and dirt it is flame resistance means it does not easily respond to flame the woolen clothes keep our body warm in winter then the next animal fiber is a silk silk is a fine strong fur and soft shining fiber produced by silk worm in making their cocoons silk is called resham in hindi silk is natural fiber which is obtained from an insect called silk moth silk is an animal fiber silk is made up of a protein silk is a strongest natural fiber the soft looking silk yarn is a very strong as comparable to the thread of steel the rearing of silk worm for obtaining the silk is called sericulture sericulture means silk farming sericulture is very old occupation in india india produces a lot of silk on commercial scale the first silk was developed 5000 to 8000 years ago in china from china it comes to india europe and africa the larva or caterpillar of the silk which produces the silk is called silk worm the female silk moth lay the eggs on the leaves of mulberry tree the eggs hatch to form the larva and that larva are called caterpillar when the silk worm is ready to enter the next stage of its development it's called pupa the eats the first weave a net to hold itself the silky covering spun by the silk worm of a silk moth is called cocoons when the pupa develop fully to form a adult silk moth then cocoon split up and a beautiful silk moth come out the adult female silk moth then lay a more eggs in this way the life history of silk moth is completed so we will study some properties of silk first property is silk is a strongest natural fiber second it dry quickly it does not shrink it is cool in summer and warm in winter silk thread are very soft and light in weight